Okay, Jack, what are we building today? <laughs> that's on you, man. Oh, that's on me. Yeah. Okay. So, Josiah somehow acquired another drift car. He now has another E46. Oh, I can't say another because I don't think we have. I don't think we've ever had one. Yeah, I don't think we've ever time. had one. So, we are going to weld up uh, an angle kit for it. So, we have our new double bearing cup lowers. Instead of using, what did we have here before? We had the stud, heim joint, and a double heim joint, actually. So, now it's double bearing cup instead of heim joints. Um, and then we're going to our new knuckle design. The one piece knuckle with the spindle. And then it's got the shock mount on the back with a billet collar. So it'll get sandwiched between there. The shock will get sandwiched in this collar and then you'll be good to go. I've already pre-threaded the bump stop holes on the knuckle. Our bump stop holes on our knuckles, bump stop holes on our lowers. Pretty trick piece of equipment. I love field trips. We're going on a field trip. Oh, on the magic school oh, bus. <laughs> so here we have our destruction table where we've previously been breaking arms to see their, their yield strength and their break points. So this is our robotic cap arm. Turn it on. It's already got uh, M12 by 125 tap in it. So we'll go ahead and lube up our hole. And yeah, we just, it automatically centers, feed it in. The arm is square to the table and the plate is completely flat to the table. It makes sure it's a completely straight tap every single time so you don't have any uh, unwanted stress on the tap. So we've actually never broken a tap on this machine and we've probably tapped a few hundred holes by now and held up pretty great. And that is how we tap our bump stop holes. Everything's cleaned up, threaded, ready to go. So. Let's get to it. Stay tuned, I guess, either the end of this video or the beginning of the next video to see the color reveal because we're gonna custom powder coat it and this really sick color. I think everybody will be pretty hyped on. So. so we'll start off with a lower. So it's gonna get a stud on the end. So it's a three-quarter stud welding the three-quarter plate. So no spacing on this one. We'll just tack it in place, just flat to the table. Then we will space up our bearing cups so we have quarter inch difference split that between the two halves top and bottom we get an eight which is roughly what these are 11 gauge stainless so we'll space up the arm so this is the tricky part now because we kick this cup okay so this is not the passenger side this is the driver's side <laughs> much better fit so yeah, this is indeed a driver's side. And then his diff goes, <laughs> for real. <laughs> what? So we're gonna put the strain gauge in the lockout. I can't afford it too much. Damn, that's a nice jig. All right, let me tack this. So how do you make a jig? You gotta get one in the right spot. And then once you get it in the right spot, then you just kind of got to find a good reference point. So on these arms, it's the only two real solid reference points are these holes here. We're always looking for something to bolt it to just to constrain it as much as possible. Um, I think I got the spider right. <laughs> like I'm filming. And look at that though. For real. You're actually radioactive. Can I see that for you? <laughs> Oh. Oh. I'm dying. He's gotta go. I'm see you, Dilly. Go to the hospital or something. You can't swear this is live television. Yeah. What are you doing? It's never been on live television before. So yeah, like you were saying, it depends on what we're making, but like this is a 370 knuckle. So we make our 370 mini kit from this. We can bolt our plates on. Basically just replicate it as close as possible to how it's gonna be in the car. Um, just to make sure everything lines up properly, your tie rod pickup works and, and all that good stuff. So this obviously is on the easier side of things because all you do is just bolt it up, tack it up and weld it. That gets a little more tricky, but like I said, once you get one in the right spot, then you can just make a solid jig like we did using a couple reference points. And then uh, it's very easy to replicate over and over again. So. 
<laughs> What's up, Not friend? Your video. <laughs> Not your video. What's up, friend? Okay, so I tapped video. the What are you doing here? I'm taking apart a part <laughs> of. Taking apart a part of handbrake because we're gonna make some uh, spaces. Oh yeah, come over here, Billy, so we can chat about. Yeah, actually, I did make a 350 axle spacer. So you want to come over to the mill? Yeah, let's take a look. No. Oh, <laughs> separate video. Okay, separate, axle sorry. spacer video. Okay. Workout video video. <laughs> Thank you for the record. I'm putting my stuff. You guys want to know how to get your fitness on? Hit me on. Why yeah. is he doing all work stuff right now? No, man. Why are you just working out on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Cup is ta attacked in place. We got the right angle and everything for the stud to go through it to the chassis. So I'm just going to run a quick little bead, quick little bead. And that is what it looks like before it's fully welded out. Stud, two bearing cups. We're doing knuckle now? Yeah, we'll do a knuckle. Knuckle time, which is what everybody came to see. So we've got our spindle and our knuckle face. This is where we'll start. These are machined out of chrome ollie, super strong. I just put them on the lathe and put a nice little chamfer around the edge before we go to weld it, just so I have a groove to weld into. This is what a normal spindle would look like when we get it machined, nice flat edge. This is what it looks like after. I just put a nice little chamfer on it. This is how it would fit on the knuckle. It would just be a plain Jane fillet weld. Whereas now, with this knuckle, we have a nice groove weld. Much stronger, look better, easier to weld. So, we'll tack that John in place. We'll do the back side first, because we won't be able to get to it once our side plates are on. And it'll help us preheat the spindle on the knuckle for when we go to do this weld, which is more critical. You done? I do this to him every time he's filming. So the spindle is never coming apart from this knuckle face again. It is 100% one unit now. Another thing the groove really lets us uh, do is keep the weld from bleeding over onto the edge. Keep it kind of all uniform. I haven't got around to making a mild steel spacer yet out of just some scrap. So we'll use the actual billet collars with uh, some washers just to make sure we have enough play that you can slide the collar in and out. Uh, without it interfering with anything and then we have enough room to sandwich the collar down and actually lock the coil over in place and Make sure it's all gonna fit All right nice and square we'll Go to put our first double shear plate on our top plate all right, so now that we've got this assembly tacked up, this is where we'll start to weld everything out because the only thing we're missing is the bottom shear plate, but it is much easier to get in here, weld this little fillet out first, get all the heat into the plate, weld these guys out, nice fillet here, and we'll have somewhat of an open corner style, lap joint style fillet here. Do all this first, weld this, and then clean it up, throw the bottom shear plate on, weld it inside, outside, and then we've got ourselves a knuckle. So I guess we'll get to it. Not too shabby. With all that said, I think it came out pretty good. Beer right now. Do you say you're giving away steak? Beer and st beer and steak. Oh. We did some market research and we found out the mechanics like alcohol and steak. Oh. It was pretty uh, intensive survey. Yeah, yeah. It was, do you like steak? Yes. And beer? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so what do we do to win? So any purchase today, we've got our quarter drive ratchets on with a $50 trade-in. We've got new torches, we've got socks on sale. we got her all. Lifetime I'll trade you in a toolbox with a box of beer. As long as you still keep making the payments, that's something a great deal for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on guys, it's back again. Oh, <laughs> oh, you blew it. Okay, we took a quick intermission. Now we're back with rain to finish up the knuckle. Yeah, a little snap on break, replace the battery. Well, Jack was waiting on his battery to charge up. I took the liberty of finishing the lowers. So I tacked the other one up. I think we did the driver's side. So I finished the passenger side and the driver's side. So if you want to zoom in on some of them, John's. Ooh. Ooh, front and back, top and bottom. You know what it do. And then I went and finished up uh, the other knuckle. I got to the same point that the first knuckle was where we were just missing the bottom shear plate. Got her all welded up all the way around, spindle in, side plates on. So that one's just cooling down now before I can take the uh, spacer out. So then I went ahead and threw on the bottom shear plate to this knuckle it was already cool so we just threw up our spacers same spacers like a lot of our kits so i got this plate on tacked it up filled in the outside bead just about to go around the hot pass on the inside and then this knuckle is absolutely done welding clean up the splatter pretty it up send it to sandblast and powder and then it's game time ready to go on the car question for you hey what color was that e46 kit that we just did for Josiah's car. What was it that called? That was Illusion Raspberry. Is it a popular color? Mm, not really, but it is a sweet color. Very nice. What else did we do it on? We did it on Shorty's uh, Corvette. Yeah, yeah. Corvette. Beautiful color. Yeah. yeah. We're revealing it right now, and Ray wanted another color, so. There it is. There it is. Order it up. Thank you. <laughs> Take it outside? We should definitely take it outside. Okay. Knuckle or lower? We'll do a knuckle. Ooh. Get that sparkle jack. Ooh. Get in there. That hits. Like a ton of bricks. Uh. If they were purple. Plan after this, we gotta go pick up the E46 from Ethan's house. Bring it here. I'm gonna do a fat install. Big ender, eh? Yeah. Ender, bender, sender. Yeah. Big like and subscribe. So, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, check out the Instagram. You know what it is. All the all the things. Buy some merch. Buy angle kits, not merch. Yeah. Or grip kits, whatever fancies. This is available on the site now, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, well then, yes, it is. If you say so, <laughs> I don't make the website. <laughs> I just make the things that go on the website. Oh. That's it. All right. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs>